What's your number one tip? What would you say to me? What would you say to someone listening today? Oh, you are so desperately want to be a part of the work of evangelism somehow. What's the number one? What's the big one? (laughs) (laughs) What's the big one? Okay. Uh, I think that the most... Uh, beneficial area to start is to say what does my method my preferred method of evangelism say about the gospel that I'm communicating Mm. so if I'm communicating that God accepts us because of Jesus does my method communicate acceptance to people if I'm trying to say that God's more than just words and ideas Mm. that he's real and that he, he actually cares how is the way I'm living and delivering that message demonstrating that? Hmm. If I'm talking about um, a God who's knowable and imminent and involved in our lives, but I'm standing 200 metres away on a stage shouting instructions at you and telling you that you're bad (laughs) and what to do, uh, how does that fit in with my message? So I think that um, my one big tip would be look for methods that reinforce the gospel and the beauty of that gospel. So the Mm. the grace and the mercy and the acceptance and the fairness and the the imminence of God and the the involvement of God, that we need to do that because in Australia our idea of what God's like is uh, rather ill, rather sick (laughs) in my opinion. And I think that Mm. uh, to break through that, first of all, the gospel is the power of God for salvation.